In this video, I want to show you how to manipulate log expressions and write them in terms of x and y. I also want to show you how to apply the logarithmic scale in applications such as the intensity of sound. In this first example, we have x is equal to log 5 with a base of 2 and y goes log 3 with a base of 2. So we want to write these three expressions here in terms of x and y. So what we want to do is we want to take the value that we log and see if we can rewrite them with a value of 5 or 3. So in this first one here, we can rewrite 625 to be 5 to the power of 4. And then we can take the 4 exponent and move it to the coefficient. So now we have 4 times log 5 with a base of 2. And from here, we know that log 5 with a base of 2 is equal to x. So we're going to replace the log 5 with the base of 2 with the variable x. So now we have 4 times x. In the second one, what we can do is rewrite the 15 as log base 2, 5 times 3, and then using our product rule, we know that when we multiply, we are going to add our exponents. So this will be log 5 plus log 3, both with a base of 2. And now we can substitute these two logs with the corresponding x and y value. Okay. Finally, in this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor the 300. Now, if you've forgotten how to factor, we can draw a factor tree. So we have 3 times 100, 4 times 25, 2 times 2, and then 5 times 5. So I can rewrite log with a base of 2 as 3 times 2 squared plus 5 squared. And then using my product rule, this will be log the base of 2. So 3 plus log base of 2, 2 squared, plus log base of 2, 5 squared. So we can see this is already y, so we'll substitute that. And here we have 2, 2, and remember our helpful rule, since the base and the value that we log are both 2, this has to be the exponent, which is 2. And then finally for this one, I need to move the 2 in the front first. So this will be 2 times log base 2, 5. So that we have y plus 2 plus 2x. And we should write this oops, in the order, uh, descending or increasing alphabet order. So 2x plus y and then plus 2, which is our constant at the end. All right, so now let's take a look at how they use the logarithmic scale in an application such as sound. Now we can also use it in pH as well, and both of these use a logarithmic scale. So the one that I'm going to show you is the decibel scale. So the human ear is sensitive to a large range of sound intensities. Scientists have found that the sensation of loudness can be described using a logarithmic scale. The intensity level, beta, which is measured in decibels of a sound, is defined as beta equals to 10 times log i divided by i naught. i is the intensity of the sound, which is measured in watts per square meter, and i naught is 10 to the power of negative 12 and also watts per square meter, corresponding to the faintest sound that can be heard by a person of normal hearing. So the first question I have here to ask you is determine the sound level in decibels that is 20 times more intense than I naught. All right, so determine the sound level. That means that we are trying to find beta. Okay, so this is called our um, intensity level or our sound level. So we have beta is equal to 10 times log, and here it says that it is 20 times more intense than I naught. So we know that the I is going to be 20 I naught divided by I naught. 
Now, it might be a little bit confusing to figure out, well, which sound level are we talking about? But because it says here in decibels, we know that the beta is measured in decibels, whereas the I, the intensity, is measured in watts per meter squared. So, simplifying this I naught here, we now have 10 times log 20. And then this, we're going to plug it into our calculator. So we're going to go 10 times log 20. And we get that beta is equal to 13.01. And decibels is D, lowercase d, and capital B. So this means that a sound, which is 13.01 decibels in strength, is actually 20 times more intense than I naught, where I naught is the faintest sound that can be heard by a person of normal hearing. All right, let's take a look at one more example that it applies this. So now we have this level of sound in a quiet bedroom at night is about 30 decibels, while normal conversation has a sound level of about 60 decibels. So the question is, how many times more intense is normal conversation than the quiet room? All right, so we're going to set up each of these um, expressions uh, with our formula. So we have 30 is equal to 10 times log I1 over I0. The normal conversation is 60 equals 10 times log I2 over I0. Now we're trying to compare I2 to I1. Now remember that when we want to compare how many times more intense something is, we divide. Now remember that when we divide, we are actually going to be subtracting our exponents. So we're gonna actually subtract the two logs. Since the second one is bigger, we're gonna take 60 minus 30, and I'll put that on the left side. So 60 minus 30, is the same thing as 10 log i2 over i0 minus 10 log i1 over i0, or divided by. So when we subtract, that means that we are actually dividing the values that we log. So on my left, I get 30 equal to 10, which I'm going to factor out. So I have log I2 divided by I0 minus log I1 divided by I0. So I'm going to be subtracting my logs. Therefore, I am dividing my values. So I'm going to divide both sides by 10 for, as well. So I get 3 is equal to log I2 over I0 divided by I1 over I0. So we have 3 equals log. And this is going to be I2 over I0. And then times I0 divided by I1. So the I0s cancel off. So we have 3 is equal to log I2 divided by I0. Now we actually want to know what this expression is because that tells us how many times i2 is more than i0. So to do that, we're going to rewrite this expression in exponential form. Remember, it has a base of 10. So therefore, i2 divided by i0 is equal to 10 to the power of 3, which means that it's going to be 1,000 times greater or more intense um, that normal conversation is than a quiet bedroom. The tricky part here is remembering that we actually have to subtract our logs because when we subtract our logs, we're actually gonna be dividing our values, which gives us how many times more.